know, if I did get a chance to go back, it wouldn't be out of a desire to live in that past. If I went into the past, I'd go just 20 years back so I could find a teenage boy in the basement of his parents' brick house thinking long thoughts as he played the same guitar lick over and over again on his little Stratocaster, <laughs> wondering how he could belong in this world. Wondering if his intellectual curiosity means he'll never fit in. Wondering if his last name will be a stumbling block for the rest of his life. Wondering what it means when he sometimes feels a certain way about young men he sees in the hall at school. If it means he'll never wear the uniform, never be accepted, never know love. If I found him and told him what was ahead, <laughs> would he believe me? I can picture it if I could put my arm around him and tell him that he was going to see the world and serve his country, that he would not only find belonging in his hometown, but be entrusted by its citizens with the duty of leading it and shaping it, that he would have a hand in transforming the neighborhoods he knew as a boy, where he wondered if this city was his own, to tell him that he'll be all right, more than all right. to tell him that one rainy April day, before he even turns 40, that on that day when he announces his campaign for president, he'll do it with his husband looking on. How can you live that story and not believe that America deserves our optimism, deserves our courage, and deserves our hope? My name is Pete Buttigieg. They call me Mayor Pete. I'm a proud son of South Bend, Indiana, and I am running for President of the United States.